Welcome back to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show with Chris, Joe, and Rob. The crew is taking your calls, so dial in at 1 800 808 5548. And we are back. As we're coming back, my voice is going. Well, your boy. voice is going. I know. It's Uh-oh. leaving today. It's that late night party and stuff. It's that you late gotta, night partying. You know, you all the kids. Again? Cigars no, at no. two in the morning. You know what we'll it was, it was as I was swimming with the kids. I think they shocked the pool because I felt it when I got into it last night. It was playing, it was swinging in one of the community pools. And I woke up this morning and the first thing I was like, oh, pool. That what a segue. It to our next guest. Wow, I know. It really was. It really was good. <laughs> that yeah, work. It was well, that was, all like, it was <laughs> almost like it was planned. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, we have up next yet another sponsor. This is like I, I, I have joked One of our great sponsors. It is the worst sponsor for me. <laughs> 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 because we have him on regularly, and every time we have him on, Kim is pulling up the website and looking at pools, and that's what I want, and this and that. And I'm like, oh, there went the budget Hey, again. Kim, you can call in right now and schedule an appointment <laughs> yeah, with That's you. right. She <laughs> listens. She <laughs> listens. Show, well, we have Brett Hatfield with cool. Down Under Pools. Down Welcome Under back. Pools. Well, thank you. The most Good to be back. Fantastic looking pools. No joke. I would say that whether you were you're still not getting a free. Pool. You're still not getting a free pool, Joe. Right? <laughs> it keeps, it keeps chiseling away. I know. <laughs> you gotta, can't blame the guy for trying. I've got a ledger. You know, yeah. like two dollars a comment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, he is an incredible individual. Number one, you know, because one of the things we talk about is. You know, we were talking about this a bit earlier. How do you find a professional? Go to the Real Estate Rat Pack Radio Show. Find all the guests that we've had on here. Everyone we bring on is professional. Press no different. I mean, not only is he an incredible person, and that's where we start off with, but the pools that you build are absolutely incredible. Yes. I mean, I that. what you absolutely do out there, obviously we've seen them in person. We've seen them, everything you've got on, your, on, on the Internet and, and on the web. You know, but how's it going? I mean, what are you seeing right now during the summer? You know what? It's it's extremely busy, and 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 everybody wants their pool in uh, yesterday, as, uh, and they only sit down and really focus on it uh, when we start getting hot and and the weather starts to heat up. You know, kind of a little bit of a rule of thumb. Sometimes it might pay uh, people to sit down and have a little bit of a think about it, maybe during the winter, um, because you're not going to be in your yard. Um, you can live with a little bit of the mess and the disruption to a lifestyle rather than trying to squeeze it all in and hope to have everything done before the summer actually gets here uh, because it's a process that takes a little bit of time. Absolutely. And I know that might be a hard number to hit, but now I'm catching it. Yeah. I'm <laughs> like, oh, it's, going around. <laughs> it's moving around the room here. I don't wow. want it. Stay away <laughs> from me. If, if, uh, I'd say it, uh, your typical pool that you build, what's, what is the build time? You, once again, uh, there's it there's depends. no there's no specific number. I mean, the pools can be built in a pretty in a pretty rapid pace, but if you want it done properly, if you well, yes. if you want to do due diligence, yeah. you know, and, and obviously, then it's it's don't focus too much on the time because what we're doing is we're dealing with contractors, and that's why it's really important to circle back around to come back to what we were talking about or Christian was talking about a little bit earlier. <clears throat> um, you know, we don't we don't sit down and, and, and because in some cases we use subcontractors as well. Um, we don't sit down and chisel down their numbers and, and what it is that they are duly deserve to be paid in order to do a job. So, you know, in order to reduce the price of something, something's got to come from somewhere. <clears throat> Having said that, things come along, and I'll circle back around again, things come along in the course of construction process, especially for us um, not being undercover, that rain uh, comes along. Uh, we have people that just, it's just all sorts of different reasons why... It I'm, can, I'm getting a sense we're not going to get an answer. So <laughs> <laughs> wow, we walked all the way around that. We did. Now, you, you actually address outdoor lifestyles. I mean, you don't do just the pools. You also build decks. Yes. Yep. And so uh, talk about deck building. Then. Well, you know what? Decks, let's talk about patio and a deck. Um, a deck we, I refer to is, is, is an area that goes all the way around the pool. So traditionally, we're always going to put in decks. So uh, patios would be a cover. So it could be a solid cover. It could be a drip-through cover uh, to go over a deck area. Um, and so <laughs> to define... What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, to define a, a specifically a, a, a deck, um, uh, we build all wood decks, concrete decks, whatever you want. So... And I know there's a lot of different types of materials for decks. 
that new the tech deck that they have out there that's mm-hmm. supposed to be improving. Trex. Trex. Is, mm-hmm. that, is, that, is that being used quite a bit? It is being used quite a lot. Yeah. And so typically when you're building a deck, <laughs> you might. <laughs> 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 Y'all are it's useless. About you, Brett. <laughs> I don't I know. know. It just happened in the last show. I, I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> How about those Astros? I, <laughs> I guess there's all like, this talk about decks. Right you know? right now. <laughs> if you've got a big deck, they'll all come along. <laughs> yeah, right? I would agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, yes, to come back a- around and to, to, to address something that, that, that Kristen had, had touched on, um, you know, finding a good contractor, it's really important to, um, I can't look at you guys. <laughs> the views of the Real Estate Rat Pack and their sponsors are not the views of the station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. May or may not be. Keep going now. You were talking about pools and decks. <laughs> <laughs> Is you've got to do your due diligence. Uh, just because somebody comes in with a really, no num- a li- really low number doesn't mean that you're going to get a quality product. Um, uh, and so, once again, it's, it, it takes some thought and some planning to go to provide a space that is cohesive and works with your existing structure um, and your existing architecture, taking inventory and stock of um, of, uh, um, of landscaping uh, uh, assets, and then creating a space that works. Uh, Go ahead. And you know, you, you mentioned something really, really interesting just now. You said take it, you know, take advantage of your existing architecture. I've been in homes in which the pool they put in mm-hmm. or the decks they put in don't match the, the style of home. What do you do when somebody is trying to do something? I mean, how, how do you consult with somebody on that? All you can do is advise. Right. As a designer, um, my job is to advise you and let you know. You know what? I really believe that you're going in the wrong direction here, and this is why. Right. Um, you know, I'm always looking for something. I like balance and symmetry. Um, and so, uh, uh, and the same thing with colors. When you're trying to, when you have a color palette of uh, the, the brick style and the t- different textures of brick um, or stucco, is really going to determine whether you end up with, a, with a, you know, with a Mediterranean feel or a contemporary feel. And all of these feels can be molded slightly. You said something. You know, we Kim and I actually are looking at a pool, and uh, we. Rob, we, we're waiting to quit, jump quit, in on that quit, comment. Quit, quit looking and start doing. <laughs> um, and, and so we we were talking about it, uh, and with the budget we were at, um, I, I I'm like, hey, just give me a jacuzzi and I'm happy. I don't need a pool. <laughs> I, I want the I want the hot tub and and want to soak and chill out and have a glass of wine and, and all that sort of thing. And and turns out the kids don't. Yeah, don't, the kids don't are do looking <laughs> with those soulful like, eyes. Really with their, yeah. with their I'm like, you can and... do laps in the jacuzzi. You know, <laughs> you know, there's, there's there's an ongoing debate, and it's interesting. We've got Colleen coming up here really shortly, and, and she may be able to shine a little bit of light on it. It's a discussion I've had. You know, do do um, uh, hot tubs or jacuzzis, as we want to call them, do they really assist in the sale of a home? Um, do they or don't they? And it's and it's a really interesting point because sometimes if you if you've never been uh, exposed to a pool, uh, a pool and a spa, will you use it? And it can be a lot of money to have have tied up into uh, an aspect or an area of your your outdoor living that you're just not using. Uh, so it's really, really important to sit down and, and ponder those and filter through it, you know. Well, and that's, now, that's kind of touching. That's, that's getting at where I was heading with this in that when we were talking about the budget, you said something that really got me thinking, which I hadn't considered before, was rather than it, maxing out your budget by including a spa or a hot tub, uh, I would much rather see you uh, invest that into the landscape and the rest of the environment, so mm-hmm. that it creates an environment that is is inviting and that really draws you in and uh, and creating an experience of being in the backyard. And I, I was like, you know, that actually makes a lot of sense. You know, Joe, I, it's it's important that you bring that up because at the end of the day, it is about an experience. When when somebody walks into your friends that walk into your home and their eye goes up and it extends on out through um, a windows of a living room into the into the area at the back of your house, which is an extension of your living area, it needs to be inviting. It needs mm-hmm. to draw you out there. It needs to be an extension of that feel and and that homely and that family sense. So yes, it is. It's not always. I always tell my clients, don't stop focusing on the shape of the pool. It's not about the shape of the pool. 
right? It's how we frame it. It's how we make that feel, how we move people around in that space, um, how we use different uh, tone, t- color, tint, texture. There's all of these things that will create a different feel and make it a, just a beautiful space to go and want to be in every weekend. So, uh, so you were against the uh, city park pool look. In the backyard is what uh, what you're saying. <laughs> well, that works for those who like that kind of thing, you know. Well, you know, looking at pictures on your website and things like that, I mean, yep. those pools look like they were an integral part of that original construction. They look like they've just, uh, and one of them just blew me away. It's like, wow, it looked like the builder had done it. Right. And you were able to just kind of attach it to that back porch area. And Rob, just really quick to circle back around to answer to answer the question on on how long does it take? It really depends upon the the complexity of the project. So it can take anywhere from 6 to 8 weeks, you know, on 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 medium to to simple projects to 10 weeks on on, you know, or more on more complex we, projects. We get complex where you're putting in a, a kitchen, you're doing the landscaping, you're Correct. doing the pool. I can imagine you could probably easily spend six months on something like that. A- absolutely. Depending on the decking as well. And spending on the decks as, yeah. especially. And, of course, and of course, <laughs> and, and you probably never have clients change their mind in the, pro- in the middle of the project, do you? <laughs> Ever. Never. That's, that's what I like about you, Rob. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are literally down to the last seconds before we have to take a break here at the bottom yep. of the hour, but I want to make sure folks know how to get a hold of you. You know what? They can call me. Um, at 281-236-4344 or they can go on our, our website which is downunderpools.com and I'll spell that because it's spelled a little bit funny that's D-O-W-N-U-N-D-A P-O-O-L-S I had to think about that <laughs> <laughs> Down Under Pools Down Under down under pools, yep. Uh, go along, and you know, if you have questions, even if you know, even if you're not going to build right now, and you have some questions, so that you can you, you get yourself better educated. There's there's no stupid question, only the one that you don't ask. And the more questions that you ask, especially in my situation, the more comfortable. He obviously I feel. hasn't been on this show long. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that, that is good, though. You know, one I've of the things that we tell everybody all the time, <laughs> we only bring on professionals. Not only is he a great individual, yes. but he builds some incredible products. Yeah, they, and I, they, I, they I get back to beautiful. speaking about circling back around, I believe thoroughly in doing business with people you like doing business with and great individuals. So far, we had two of those on. Cool. Well, we're coming up against a break again right now, so stay tuned. We'll be right back. Scarlet billows start to spread. Fancy gloves, though, where's old Maggie Heath, babe? So there's never 